Western sports were flirting with perfection last week in Griffin country. Griffin baseball went 7-3 and three over three series with Northwest Missouri, Emporia State, and Pittsburgh State at the Spring Sports Complex. And we've got highlights. Great crowd on hand at the Spring Sports Complex. Western baseball starting the first of a four-game series with rival Northwest. Buzz Verdusco, your thoughts? When you play guys like this, rivals, etc., it's going to be a knockdown drag out. That's just the way it is. Still, Western found itself down 2 1, entering the eighth. They had left 10 on base until right now. Tony Leffler delivers the pinch hit base hit to right. Jake Graham trying to score from second. The play at the plate, not in time. Graham dives home to tie it at two. Next batter, Andrew Piper with the go ahead run at third. How about a suicide squeeze? It is a beauty. Everybody's safe. Piper, three hits on the Today, Griffs take the lead in the ninth. Brandon Simmons finishes what he started. Ten strikeouts in the complete game victory. Western takes the series opener. Three to two, the final. Western baseball back at the park and a double dip with rival Northwest. The fans packing the stadium and bringing the signs. Griffins bringing their bats in game one. Pick it up in a scoreless second inning. Not scoreless anymore. Tony Loeffler, three for four with four RBI in game one. This put the Griffs up 1-0. The hits keep coming. Sixth inning, Isaac Rome up with the bases loaded. He'll unload them with a three-run double. Griffins take a 7-1 lead. More than enough pad for pitcher Ali Cady. He struck out five and scattered just five hits and goes the distance in a 9-1 Game 1 victory. Game 2, a who's who of Griffin spectators. Coach Partridge, Coach Plett, Coach Easley, all looking for the Bearcats sweep. Nick Gerardo picking up where Katie left off, gets the nasty backwards K. He also had bats backing him. Fourth inning, Scott Groner pinch hitting. Hit and run is on. It's all working perfectly. Jake Graham scores. More insurance from Rome. He launches an RBI triple to the gap. Rome four Four for five with five RBIs, three runs scored in the doubleheader. Seventh inning, Gerardo trying to go the distance. Good way to do that is a backwards K again. He tosses a complete game, five hit shutout. The Griffins blank the Bearcats, four to zip. That's six straight wins for Western. That's three straight complete games for Western pitching. Missouri Western baseball on a day-night double dip at the Spring Sports Complex. Griffins taking on number five ranked Emporia State. Pick it up third inning. Griffs already up 1-0. Then Spencer Ooh. Shockley happened. Ooh, it's out. a towering shot to deep left field. Drew Wilkinson going back but can't make the catch. Andrew Piper on his horse. He'll score from second. Griffs would add one more and take a 3-0 lead after three. Skip to the fifth. Griffs still swinging away. David Chu, the opposite field base hit. Isaac Rome comes from second to score. Griffs up 6-2 now. Seventh inning now. It's a 6-5 game. Emporia with the tying run on third and two outs. Tyler Riddle trying to save it. Emporia Zach Carlson trying to tie it. Instead, Shockley is going to win it. Great hit-robbing, game-saving, diving snag. Griffs hold on for a 6-5 victory. Underneath the lights, Hornets jumped out to an early 4-1 lead, but back come the Griffs. Bottom three, two on for Jason Soma. He delivers with the base hit up the middle. Two runs come home to score. Griffs would add one more in the inning to tie it at four. Top of four, Hornets threatening with the bases loaded. Jake Jones pitching and uses his body to get out of the jam. Knocks it down, gets the out, no damage done. Skip to the sixth. Same situation. Bases loaded again. Still tied at four. Ryan Carball gets out of this jam with the strikeout. And we roll on. But the Hornets keep threatening. And in the eighth, they come through. Dylan Hazlitt with the RBI triple to left center. Emporia takes the lead and holds on for a 7-4 victory. The Griffins solid in the split. Western baseball in a double dip with Pitt State. Game one going to the Dogs. Fourth inning, Pitt already up 3-0. That lead about to double. Chase Barnes hits one down the left field line. The Griffins won a foul ball. The ump says it's fair. Three runs score. Buzz Verdusco politely wants to talk about it, respectfully disagrees with the call, and then respectfully gets tossed. I kind of thought that the ball was foul, you know, and Croyman, my third baseman, you know, he's a he's an awesome kid, and I took his word for it, and, you know, there was a little bit of a disagreement, and umpire didn't like that, and so there you go. So that was a little bit of my fault. Gorillas go on to win game one, 6-4. Game two, Buzz is back. 
All is right with the world. Griffs jump out early. First inning already up one zip. Kyle Peterson. Five hits in the doubleheader. Drives in Spencer Shockley here. It's now two zip. Next batter, Jason Soma follows suit. Drives in another run. Griffs go up 4-0 after one. Plenty of pad for pitcher Nick Girado. He was perfect through the first six innings of work. Griffs giving him plenty of run support too. More from Soma in the seventh. Rips a two-run base hit. Soma five for seven with five RBIs in the doubleheader. And in the ninth, Gerardo finishes what he started with the strikeout. A complete game three hitter. The Griffins earn the split with an 11-2 game two victory. Another day, another Western Pitt State doubleheader. Get to the fifth. Griffs with runners on the corners and a 1-0 lead. How about doubling the lead with a double steal? Andrew Piper safe at second. David Chu then safe at home. Perfect execution. Griffs go up 2-0. Next pitch, Ian Atkinson with the less creative way to drive in a run. Puts one down the right field line. Soma will score. Atkinson with a double. Griffs with a 3-0 lead. Simmons pitching on just four days rest, but you wouldn't know it here. One of his five Ks on the day. Day. In the seventh, it's a 3-2 game. Simmons in a jam. Gorillas with the tying run on third. Go-ahead run on second. So enter Tyler Riddle with two outs. He'll get the ground ball. Fire to Spencer Shockley, who makes a great play. That's a great way to win game one. 3-2 to two the final. And after starting the season 0-3, Brandon Simmons runs his pitching record to 6-3. Uh, game two, more good from Gold. David Chu won't steal home this time. Instead, he'll drive a base hit to center. Shockley trying to score from second. He will just beat the tag. Western goes up two to zip. Matt Bergen got his first start as a Griffin. He was just solid. He tossed eight scoreless innings. Riddle would come in and close it again as Western wins again. 4-0 the final. Griffs take three of four from the Gorillas. Solid pitching the story of this day. Thanks to Western Athletics' Ryan Minley for those highlights and more. The Griffins moved their overall record to 17-13 and 16-9 and and in conference play. Western sits a half game out of third place in the MIAA, heading into a doubleheader at Emporia State April 12th. Western returns to the friendly confines of the Spring Sports Complex for a four-game weekend series with Truman State April 15th, 16th, and 17th. Western softball has won six straight and broke in the softball field at the Spring Sports Complex with a no-hitter from freshman Jackie Bishop. Check out these highlights from Western Sweep of Southwest Baptist. Couldn't ask for more. Awesome day. Awesome day for softball. Historic day for a home opener. Unforgettable day for Western softball players. A lot of nerves, a lot of excitement. Lots of nerves, but like good energy and everything like that by everyone. Oh, a little overexcited, I think. So we were all, hmm. All that leads to this. Good dance moves and, well, better dance moves. All of it for Western's first ever softball game in the new spring sports complex. Griffs in a double dip with Baptist. Open with a pair of presidential first pitches. University Press Bob Vardabini on the left. SGA Press Dylan Harp on the right. Both pale in comparison to what Jackie Bishop was about to do. She gave up a walk in the first inning, but on cruise control from there. More on her later. Skip to the second inning for more history. Kerry Lorbert, the first ever hit in spring sports complex softball history. Couple batters later, Leah Steele drives in the first run in spring sports complex history with a base hit through the left side. Griffs take a 1-0 lead and that was plenty of pad for Bishop. The freshman pitcher unstoppable. Fastballs, junk balls, 11 strikeouts on the day. She'd also take a no-hitter to the seventh and no suspense. No one touched her. The Griffins win 2-0 the final. Bishop the first win and first no-hitter in Spring Sports Complex history. She retired 20 straight to end the game and was a walk away from a perfect game. In two, more the same. Senior John L. Belger picking up where her freshman counterpart left off. One of her seven Ks on the day. Griffs took a 2-0 lead to the sixth and would add to it. Michelle Stevenson with the blue pit to center. Two-run score. Griffs up by four. And Belger would finish what she started. How about a one-hit shutout to follow the no-hitter? Griffs win game two, four to zip the final and run their record to 25-8. The Griffins return to campus April 19th for a doubleheader with Central Missouri. Western Women's Golf co-hosted the Green and Gold Shootout with Northwest Missouri and dominated the two-day event held at Maryville's Mazingo Lake Golf Course and Fairview Golf Course in St. Joseph. The Griffins had a 21-stroke advantage on second place Northwest Missouri and placed five individuals in the top ten, including first place finisher Lexi Webb. Next stop for the women is the MIAA Championships at Tiffany Greens in Kansas City, April 18th and 19th. That's it for sports this week. Go Griffs! 
And please, have your bearcat spayed or neutered. <laughs>